big chunky gaming headsets are so 2021, bro. Gaming earbuds are the thing now. But can HyperX really distill all their gaming headset experience into these tiny wireless earbuds and also deliver that latency free experience wirelessly? Are the HyperX Cloud Mix Buds the future of gaming headsets? And ultimately, are they good enough to replace these traditional chunky gaming headsets that we're all so used to? Well, let's find out. It's fair to say I've experimented with my gaming headsets over the years, from cheap and cheerful to the more recognizable brands like HyperX, SteelSeries, Logitech Pro. But the one thing they all have in common is they, they shout, GAMER! They are the de facto look for game streamers. Man, if you're a serious gamer, you've got to have your cool gaming headset, yeah? Now, no question, when you're hiding in PUBG trying to work out what direction those damn footsteps are coming, it's crucial you have good audio head experience that can pinpoint the sound direction and provide crystal clarity, as well as the satisfying boom of in-game explosions. Equally, you don't want to sound like you're talking from inside a drainpipe when you're gaming with your buddies. So yeah, gaming headsets are important, but they're not necessarily streetwear. And what if you want to game on the go? What with cloud gaming, meaning you can play AAA games on your mobile phone, etc. Do you really want to be carrying around a big gaming headset? Secondly, and this is more personal to me, I use my gaming headset for my work calls. And it's always met with some wisecrack about, am I landing a plane because of my chunky headphones? So wireless earbuds that offer a high quality gaming audio experience, and I can use my mobile phone, and that work as my work headset got me intrigued. So I thought I'd grab myself a pair of these HyperX Cloud Mix Buds. I have a pair of Pixel Buds and they're great, but I use them exclusively for my mobile as the Bluetooth on my PC is a bit lacking and as such the audio latency is too much for gaming. And that's an issue with a lot of wireless gaming headsets. Even my Steel Series, when I'm relying on Bluetooth, as I have a previous generation Bluetooth connection on my PC, so that's one of the older bandwidths. So latency is an issue and you can't have any audio latency when you're playing a game. But the beauty of HyperX Cloud Mix Buds is they allow you to use dual wireless modes, Bluetooth and the much more reliable and faster 2.4 gigahertz connection, offering ultra low latency. In terms of what you get in the box, well, you get the two earbuds in a charging case and a nice silicon cover, a 2.4 gigahertz USB type C adapter, this also comes with a handy extension adapter, so if your PC is under your desk or further away, you can have the wireless adapter sit on your desk so it's closer to you and you avoid any dropouts. Plus, you can plug them into your mobile phone for that latency-free experience on your mobile phone. There are also three types of earbud sizes and, of course, a quick start guide. Each earbud has a 12mm dynamic driver, and I have to admit, the audio is great, especially the clarity in those mid-tones. I was listening to a YouTube video that I watch on a regular basis and I noticed the sounds in the background that I'd never noticed before. Really subtle background noises that help create the atmosphere. And the bass isn't some big bassy over-the-ear headsets like I get with my Razer Kraken. that can be a bit overwhelming and sometimes make it more difficult for me to pinpoint the sound. But there is enough bass here for your gaming needs. Just make sure they're firmly in the ear for that kind of complete audio sound. But as I mentioned, it's the clarity of those mid-ranges, especially in terms of vocals and dialogue, that comes across as crystal clear. In terms of gaming, they have that directional audio and clarity I needed, and listening to music was good and clear with good details, and they worked great over Zoom calls. This was true on both PC and mobile. You can also toggle between the Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz wireless using the transmitter, one of the reasons you have the extension cable so you can keep it within reach. You can also use it to mute. For reference, it uses Bluetooth version 5.2, so that's fairly up to date on the Bluetooth front. And when using the Bluetooth on my work laptop, I could wander off quite far and they still stay connected. Now these are not noise cancelling, but pushed firmly enough in and they do cut out a lot of the outside noise whilst providing a nice soundscape. When connected to PC, players can take advantage of the DTS Headphone X which ups immersion by providing virtual 3D spatial audio with precise sound localization. 
As with most wireless earbuds, you do get some touch controls, although a lack of volume control via touch is a bit of annoying. And also sadly, missing is that option to alter in-game audio chat balance that you normally get on a decent gaming headset. Perhaps they could have added a volume rocker or control to the wireless adapter itself. Touch controls allow you to pause or stop the music and then start the play again for things like Spotify or YouTube. Although I did find them quite sensitive with them sometimes stopping the media without me touching them at all. Maybe if I move my mouth or, or kind of lent to one side. But you just need to make sure that they are in your ears far enough. And apparently HyperX are aware of this sensitivity issue with regards to touch. And apparently they're working on a firmware update. Battery wise, HyperX claim you can get up to 10 hours of battery life. Now that I'm assuming is when you're using Bluetooth and it's probably less for 2.4 gigahertz connection. The case provides another 23 hours of charging. So I've lived with these for a week or so. And in terms of gaming and work Zoom calls, they are my go-to. So this is me using the HyperX Cloud Mix Buds as my microphone. So if I'm playing in-game, this is perhaps what you uh, hear. I'm kind of streaming at the moment, but I'm instead of using my standard streaming mic, which is this, I'm using my headset mic here to give you a kind of sense of what they sound like. But uh, if I just uh, swap a minute, uh, so this is what my uh, standard mic, this is the mic that I normally use when I'm live streaming and stuff. I just wanted to show you the difference between a proper podcast mic, which is what this is, a Rode Pod mic, and my gaming headset. So we'll go back to the gaming headset just to give you kind of an impression. Okay, so now I'm back on the gaming headset. Overall sound levels may be slightly different because I would have uh, lowered my input mic for this, for this mic here. But anyway, hopefully that gives you an idea of what the sound quality is like and what I'd sound like in game. Latency to me is non-existent when using the 2.4 gigahertz connection. So it's perfect for watching videos and films and gaming, of course, gaming. The latency is still there with Bluetooth, but it's minor, but less of an issue for calls or just listening to music. I swap between the wireless on my main PC and Bluetooth on my work laptop. I tend to work across two computers at once. And so the ability to toggle between the two is really useful. All in all, if you're fed up of having big gamer headsets, but you still want that gamer headset experience, these earbuds from HyperX are where it's at. They really suit my user case. They give me the flexibility between gaming and work. They're discreet, especially compared to my big old traditional gaming headset. So they're great in the street. I would have liked to have seen more versatility in terms of software and being able to have an equalizer and, and adapt the sound and stuff like that. And more options for touch control to be able to kind of control the volume or alter the volume levels between game chat and the game, etc. Either via the headset or the wireless controller, as I mentioned. Overall, I'm really pleased I bought these. They offer me the versatility that I was looking for. So they give me that kind of gaming audio experience with the kind of communications and the headset, all of that in a small compact form, but still giving me the quality I expect from a gaming headset, but without the weight of a big kind of gaming headset on your head and all that that you get after hours of play. But at the same time, I can use these for my work or for my mobile and still get that kind of clarity of sound, especially with the vocals uh, that I'm looking for. If you're looking for versatility, that's not just a jack of all trades, is still a credible gaming headset these genuinely are a credible gaming headset, then I highly recommend these. Anyway, there you go. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit those likes because I like it and YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find tech review videos just like this. And if you are new here, then do me the honor of hitting that subscribe button, toggling that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with these tech reviews. Anyway, thank you for your time and I'll see you around soon. Thank you.